In this demonstration, I am going to show you how you can create an altered database using MariaDB Schema Manager. So, uh, for MariaDB Schema Manager, first of all, we have to have a MariaDB server, and obviously, inside that server, we are going to create the database. And also, uh, as you know, that uh, Schema Manager uses fault queue fault under the hood to manage the users. We also need to have a vault server running in our cluster. So you can see the vault server YAML and uh, uh, MariaDB database server YAML uh, in the screen. And we have to mention these two uh, in these sections, one for the database.server ref and another in the vault ref. So yes, you can see that I have mentioned them here and as for the con database configuration, uh, the all the target uh, configuration we want for our uh, database uh, should be mentioned in the config section here. Uh, I have choose the name, uh, I have choose MyDB as the name of my database and the character set to ETF8 and there's a comment here. And as you know, the comment is uh, not available uh, for the below version of uh, MariaDB 5. And we are here using the MariaDB 10. So yes, it's okay. And also you have to mention the subjects here uh, to which uh, all the credentials should be binded. And the default ETL uh, refers that after 10 minutes, as I've mentioned here, the default ETL is 10 minutes, then after 10 minutes, the credentials should no longer be valid and the uh, user session would be cut off if uh, it is logged in uh, using these credentials. So now let's apply. Before applying, you can see that my MariaDB server is running and my Vault Vault server is also running. And here from the database administration uh, view, you can see the current database is present in the uh, uh, in the current database server. And now let's apply. Uh, so you can see that uh, the schema uh, manager EML has been deployed and uh, my DB should be created. So as you can see that a new database my DB has been created. So let's get the credentials. Uh, you can get the credentials in this uh, following path of the object CML. So uh, I have used the view secret uh, extension. Uh, if you don't have this, you can get the YAML of the of this secret and uh, just page 64 decode it. So yes, we have got the password and news in them. So let's try to log in. Uh, so. So, yeah, mm, let's see the databases. We can see that we have my DB uh, here and let's use my db uh, show tables you can see that there's no table here let's create one create table okay create table random parker h Okay, so you can see that we, we can do every sort of operations using this credential. And now uh, we'll try to alter the database. And before altering, let's see the conf current configuration. So show create database mydb. So you can see the current configuration as uh, the character set to ETF8 and the comment is set to hello all. So let's, uh, let's alter the character set to big five. So you can see, uh, now let's apply the YAML. You can see that this is configured here. And now if you see that, yes, the character set has been altered. So you can also alter the comment as well. And everything that is uh, configurable or alterable 
as for the doc says of MariaDB, you can uh, alter everything using the MariaDB, using the MariaDB schema manager. So uh, this is how you can create and alter your database using MariaDB schema manager. Thank you.